What's going on everyone, it's the Print House and today I am telling you how to get the most perfect buttery smooth first layer with a great Z offset guys. This is going to be on the Creality Under 6, if you have any questions post them down below. But first guys please, I cannot do these videos without your continued support so please give me a like and a subscribe, put some comments below, tell your friends about me. Guys anyway, without further ado, let's get into it. Oh, and one more thing, guys, this is going to be a little bit of a weird video. I'm going to do some live commentary, some video overlays possibly, and possibly some audio overlays, so please bear with me. This is a little bit of a difficult video to record. Anyway, now we're starting. So, guys, I'm sure you have been told many times, but obviously when you turn your printer on, go ahead and preheat your bed and nozzle, so there's going to be some thermal expansion, and doing that will create the best possible uh, bed level for you and get you the best possible Z offset. Now, after you do that, go ahead and remove the filament as you're seeing here. And once you get that done, you can then go ahead and go into your settings menu, click the leveling, it's going to auto home your printer. And then after it does that, there's going to be a measure button, which you're about to see. So go ahead and click the measure button. And then this bed probing that you're watching right now, it's going to start the bed probe it's going to take a couple minutes and once it's done bed probing it's going to have created a bed mesh and it will save that to your ee prom automatically so once you finish doing the measuring with the cr touch or the bl touch you're going to home your printer and due to the magic of video editing, uh, I ended up having my print head homed already, but it's going to go through the homing process. And once it does that, and it's done moving, we are going to resort to the tried and true paper method. So put a piece of paper under the nozzle. Now my piece of paper fits. If your paper does not fit under the nozzle, what you need to do is come over here and click the Z offset minus 0.1 button a few times and that is going to allow your paper to easily fit under the nozzle. The next thing you're going to do is put it directly under the nozzle and then we're going to be clicking the plus Z offset button. Now of course I am holding the camera with one hand and pushing the button with another hand so I can't do this but you're going to be pushing this button and jiggling this piece of paper until it feels tight. Now I'm going to put the camera down and you guys can see what I mean by that. Now guys, I just want to make one brief note. You can see down here, this is where I'm actually clicking the plus one millimeter button as I am moving the piece of paper. If you are sliding your piece of paper under the nozzle and it does what like this is doing, it crinkles, it's too close to the print bed. And by it, I mean your nozzle is too close to the print bed. So if this happens, you're gonna have to click the minus plus one millimeter button on your uh, screen and lower the print bed. Now, what you wanna get is the piece of paper under the nozzle just enough to where you can fold the paper one time and it moves freely under the nozzle. At this point, you have your Z offset and you can be done. So you do not know what the Z offset number is, unfortunately, on the Creality Under 6. However, the Z offset automatically saves and what you can do is you can simply click the back button and you're done. So as I previously mentioned, this is how you are changing your Z offset and unfortunately on the Marlin firmware that comes pre-installed with your uh, Ender 6, you don't actually know what your Z offset is. When you click the down button, it moves your printer bed down by 0.1 millimeters and automatically saves that as the Z offset. When you click the 0.1 millimeter up button, it raises the Z offset by 0.1 millimeter and then automatically saves that. You don't ever know 
an actual numerical value, which is one reason why upgrading your firmware on the Ender 6 is a really great idea. So one more thing to note guys, if you are actively printing and you go into the tune settings on the printer, you can change the Z offset of the printer by one hundredths of a millimeter. So that's 0.01 up or down. The problem with that is when you're done with the printer and you turn it off, that Z offset is gonna be deleted and removed. It does not save. So the only way to save the Z offset and have it in the EE prompt, so when you turn the printer on and off, it loads that Z offset is the way that I told you. Unless you guys wanna to upgrade to something a little more custom, the way that I told you is the only way to do it, either that or sending direct G-code commands, which is very, very advanced. But uh, guys, that is one downside to the Ender 6 with the stock BL Touch firmware. So guys, uh, unfortunately, you've only got tenths of a millimeter to deal with on the Z offset. Anyway guys, that is all I have for you today. So please leave a like and subscribe if you liked it. Put some comments down below. Tell me what you guys want to see. I'm here for you. I'm making videos for you. So please guys, put some comments below. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next one.